The day of studying the New Testament text alone is over, as well it should be. <laughs> as important as the New Testament text is, it comes to life only when it is placed within a community. I take a religion and society approach. The more that one understands about the society in which any religion is active, the more insights one will gain about that religion itself. One of the difficulties of studying the New Testament is asking a new question. After all, we're looking at a text that has been studied, debated, discussed for 2,000 years. Usually it's curiosity on my part and ignorance rather than knowledge that will spur my investigation. Take unemployment. What does the Christian faith have to say about it? And how does what the Christian faith has to say differ from what the government thinks and tries to do? If you go to any classics dictionary or any Bible dictionary and look for an entry under unemployment, you'll not find it at all. Another project that I'm interested in is domestic violence in the ancient world. Of all of the emotions, the one that is most frequently discussed in the ancient world is anger. I began to notice that either slaves or members of the family were the objects of that wrath. And I said, wait a minute, this is a wonderful resource for getting a new glimpse into family life in the ancient world. No one has really worked seriously on this. That's what launched that project. If you're going to take a religion and society approach, you need to be conscious that even things that we think are the same may not be. Let's take friendship. If I say friends are those who share all things in common, that may not be an idea that you will associate today with friendship. It wasn't an idea that I associated with friendship until I began to look at ancient text. Can one be a friend with someone who's not in your same social class? Can you be a friend with God? It's really with those ideas and terms that we immediately warm to and we think we already understand that we need to be most cautious. How do texts that come from a world that is completely different from mine, how do they relate to me? I help graduate students have a better understanding of the world of the first Christians and then of the first Christians themselves as that community grows. I'm different from what my students expect.